an Eyewitness News exclusive. Tonight we spoke to the father of the alleged victim of a sexual assault. That alleged victim just 14 years old. Eyewitness News first reported the arrest of Providence teacher's assistant Anthony Tedeschi over the weekend. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum joins us now with more on what the alleged victim's father had to say tonight. The family of the 14-year-old boy tells us this alleged sexual assault has affected their entire family. Their question for the school department is why did it take so long for an arrest? There's no way that this should have went on for this long. Time is a major concern for the family of an autistic teenager in Providence. Time it took to arrest Anthony Tedeschi, the teacher's aide who's accused of sexually assaulting their son. If somebody does that to a child, you should jump on it right then and there. Like, you don't wait a day, never mind three months. The father of the eighth grader didn't want his face or name on television to keep the attention away from his son, but he still wanted his story told. The crime allegedly happened in late October at Essex Hopkins Middle School. After police and school officials investigated, Tedeschi was allowed to return to the classroom in December. School officials cited no evidence of wrongdoing. The 14-year-old boy switched schools after the alleged crime happened. Now he's dealing with a whole nother school. All new kids, all new teachers, all new staff. So to him, you know, it's like going to a foreign country where you don't even speak the language. Months after the accusation was made, Tedeschi was arrested on Friday after a school employee told police she caught Tedeschi inappropriately touching a student. Tedeschi is now on administrative leave. I wanted to pay for it. I wanted to pay for it, you know? I do. And the parents of the boy have a message for others who have children with disabilities, and that's to get to know their teachers to avoid something like this from happening. I'm Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.